So my wife and I were with you and Rabbi Levy just a week or so ago, a beautiful time and, and learning and studying together and walking along on the Temple Mount. So tell our Christian audience why this should be and will be important to them. For your Christian eyes, well, because we we all believe that God's presence should dwell on this earth, and most importantly, what I think what is lost on a lot of people is that the Temple Mount is a house of prayer for all people. It is very clear, and no one has ever. There's never been a time in history where um, it has been, you know, simply a place for the Jews. Everyone is welcome on the Temple Mount. That is why there has always been the court of the Gentiles. There is the women's court. There is a place for everybody on the Temple Mount. Um, but what is most important to know is that as long as the Arabs and the Muslims and Jordan and King Abdullah specifically and the Wah most notoriously, uh, the Wah being the Jordanian administration that quote unquote oversees the sanctity of the Mount. And by that, I mean, they play soccer, fly kites, eat food and, and leave their garbage about. But um, what, what um, is important to remember is that as long as the Arabs and Muslims control the Temple Mount, neither you uh, or me or our Buddhist friends, or even our just simply spiritual friends, or even our atheist friends that, you know, want to, you know, pray to, to a, a, a deity of, of, you know, universalism, they cannot do that there. So the, the, the most important thing, this is a human rights struggle. Um, this is a civil rights struggle. This is about freedom of worship and freedom of movement. And the only people in the world who will ensure that this is a house of prayer for all people, no matter what that prayer is, no matter what God you pray to, is if, the, if Jewish sovereignty can be reasserted on the Temple Mount. The Beit HaMikdash will come, the Temple will come, the Divine Presence will come, but what matters most important now is securing equal rights and access, and that can only be done when uh, the Jews take that first step to re-